Get in line! Move it! All right, boys! Warm up! You got one job and one job only. The freight comes in, you unload it and sort by destination. If you're slow, slacking, or sucking, you get a visit from me. You, lady. Uh, yes? Can you read and write? I can. Add and subtract? Yes, sir. Good. You're on office duty. Thank you, sir. Uh, this is nothing. Well, don't go so hard you run out of gas like Nama did. <sighs> He's just being a wimp. Oh, man. Why does Saiko get the desk job? I can do math, too. Hey, why don't we see what's inside these boxes? What the hell? They're shark fins. The expensive kind? Or the crappy ones? How would I know? This is dried abalone. That's expensive. Never had it myself. What the heck? This is just paper. They use paper in Chinese food? In the food? That'd be weird. Well, Japanese cooking uses washi paper to steam things, so... Maybe China has something similar. Hey! What are you doing over there? Sorry. We'll get back to work. So listen. After the freight's unloaded, a sales rep from the tanker will bring the invoice. A sales rep? From the company that sold us the product. It'll be your job to process the invoice and get them paid. Here we are. This is the invoice. Uh, hold on. I never said I could read Chinese. It doesn't matter. You can read the total, can't you? The money's in the safe. It's self-explanatory. Thank you. I'll send you some more things. That was... How much was that in yen? About eight million. You paid eight million in cash? That's how we get such good deals on products. We pay in a single lump sum, cash, in yuan. The seller gets all their money right away, and avoids paperwork. That's why these mainlanders are willing to sell to us at a much lower price than usual. Cash is king. And just in case it crossed your mind, don't even think of skimming any cash. We keep our eyes open in this warehouse. 
You pull anything funny, you'll be sorry you ever set foot here. Sir, I wouldn't dream of stealing. Seriously?
Let's go. With finesse.
とうございました、うん、いらっしゃいませございました。You're gonna be in a world of hurt. Jesus! 
work or something, I don't get it. How are they even staying open? Don't they at least need to cover their overhead? Not only have they stayed open, their profits have gone up over the years. For the life of me, I can't figure out how. <sighs> I wish I could look at their ledger and not just their invoices. What would that tell you? I don't know, but I think I'd find signs of tax evasion. Don't do anything that would give yourself away. This is the Yokohama Liumon, remember? <laughs> I'll be fine. But you're really that worried about me? Of course I'm worried. Why? Because we're buddies. Because we're buddies? Huh. What? It's a good thing, ain't it? I just... I've never really had someone that I could call a buddy. I always just kind of thought movies and manga made that stuff up. Or at the very least, it was something I'd never have. Well, you were wrong, because now you've got us on your side. Awesome. Remember, you need good party members to beat Dragon Quest. Uh, isn't that a video game? Well, yeah, but... You know what I mean. <laughs> You're a weird one. I can live with weird. It's true, anyway. Well, thank you, Kasuga, for making me one of your buddies. <laughs> What's up? Someone dying here? Huh? Oh, we were just... Hey, seeing as we've got a long, hard road ahead of us, let's knock back some drinks. Sure, on whose tab? Well, there's the pay bonuses the boss left us. Come on, man, we gotta save those for a rainy day. Oh, I'd be so cheap. The boss is in the afterlife right now, yelling at us to live while we can. You're full of shit. I say we don't do it. Adachi san turns a bit feral when it comes to alcohol. It's Bleach Japan. What the hell? The place is already shut down. What do they want now? My friends, look at this filthy evil den of iniquity. Yes, it's an ugly little soap land. Just the other day, our tireless efforts led to the shuttering of this foul place. Yeah! 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 This is our victory! The first bricks of the Grey Zone suffocating this city have cracked and fallen away! But we must not be complacent! We must press on until all the Grey Zones have been purified! Yeah! Hey, we're in mourning right now. It's really not a good time. I'm sorry. I didn't realize there was still vermin lurking around here. Don't you have any respect for people in grief? Don't you have any respect for the law? The shop is closed! This building should be vacant! Yeah! Yeah! Right! You heard him. Get out of town, you riffraff! Keep your protests to shouting. You lay hands on us, there'll be hell to pay. <laughs> Hey, did you all see that? This thug's showing us his true colors. He thinks he can use violence to crush the voices of the people. He's obviously living in the past. Hurry, let's close up before they start in on us too. Where's the Seriu clan when you need them? What are we paying them protection money for? Get the friggin' heck out of here! People like you are ruining society! You're all criminals! You're enemies of good people! Now, get out of our town and don't ever come back! I'm just grateful the owner of this shop finally realized what he truly was. A filth-spreading vector of disease. He did the noble thing by taking his own life. What did you just say? What was his name? No, no, Mia. 
Just looking at him made me want to vomit. I really can't bring myself to be sorry that he's gone. When I think about that man dangling at the end of a rope. <sighs> I feel the same way I do when I finish my spring cleaning. <clears throat> Who do you think you are? Get the fuck out of here! Don't. That won't work, Sachan. Why not? <laughs> Too late now, you little tart! You assaulted me! You all saw it! Someone called the police! Slapping a guy like him never does much. What? This kind of fucker. You gotta hit him like this! <laughs> Our leader's down! Let's get in there! Seriously? You brought bats? What, were you hoping for a quick ball game during the protest? They were ready to incite violence all along. We're good to go, right boss? Of course. You saw it! They attacked us first! Come on, everyone! This is our moment! Bleach the Grey! You're going down! Here we go! You're in it now! Don't get cocky! I'm in it now. Wanna fight? Go away! Go away! Go this 
This away. isn't over! Go away! The memory of today will only strengthen our resolve! Go away! We're done playing around! Serves you right! Don't come back! This is our town! Good job, everyone! So inspiring to see you fight evil! Yeah! Remember this day with pride! <laughs> they got what was coming to them. Couldn't let him talk shit about the recently departed like that. But I'm the one who got us into a scuffle. Uh, sorry, I should have stayed calm. Eh, don't worry about it. Now we know what they're really about. Besides... What? If somebody messes with one of us, they mess with all of us. Man, that felt good! After all this time, we got to actually do something! Yeah! I wish those useless bums in the Seiryu clan could have seen that! Oh, come on, they ain't that bad. Yes, they are. We can't rely on them. I've realized something. No one's gonna protect us but us. The Yakuza aren't gonna help. I agree! These dudes are way more reliable than that dumb Seiryu clan! Yeah! Remember this day we should be teaming up with you, you. Not them. You should teach I them another way lesson. safer with you around. Is it closed today? No, no, Mia san! It's me, Erika Mataki! Uh, can I help you? Are you here for an interview or something? What? Oh, no. I'm not here for an interview. And you are? Oh, I'm Kasuga. I guess you could say I used to work here. Really? You worked here? Oh, well, anyway. Is Nonomiya-san in right now? I'm supposed to meet with him today. Uh, you see, well, that's a little complicated. Uh, you know... No, what? Well, Nonomiya-san, he... He died. What? Uh... He's... I don't... He can't be... Uh, that's not... Uh... Hey, hey! Oh shit! I think we're losing her! Hey! You alright? <sighs> Are you feeling better? I'm so sorry. That was so embarrassing. I've been trying to get a hold of Nonomiya-san by phone for the longest time, but... I never would have guessed he'd passed away. Yeah, sorry to have freaked you out. By the way, what's your name? I'm Eri. I'm president of Ichiban Confections. Well, damn, Eri-chan. You're a president at your age? That's incredible. Ichiban Confections? Nice! My name's Ichiban too, actually. Ichiban Kasuga. Great minds think alike. <laughs> what a coincidence. I'm sure I don't need to tell you this, but it also means the best, which is why my grandfather chose it. He wanted his senbei to be the best in Yokohama. Ah, senbei. Man, I love a good rice cracker. Anyway, how do you know Nonomiya-san? Well... Nonomiya-san was supposed to step in and take over the company. I came by today to discuss things with him. What? Nonomiya-san? President of a legitimate business? I mean, he was a savvy businessman, regardless of what he was selling. No, oh, right. So, Ichiban Confections only sells snacks, right? Nothing, uh, else? Correct. My grandfather started it back in the day, selling his prized senbei. But after he passed away, my father took over and expanded the business to other confectionaries and restaurants. We actually got to be kind of big, and we even gained a bit of a reputation in Ijincho. Until... Until? Until three years ago, 
When my father succumbed to an illness. My mother passed away when I was a little girl, so we didn't really have anyone we could turn to to keep the business afloat. I was still a student back then, but I quit school to come back home. I wasn't about to let the dream my father and grandfather worked so hard to make a reality go to waste. I worked day in, day out to learn the business, but I guess it still wasn't enough. I'm a complete amateur, so managing everything was really difficult. And to make things worse, I got tricked into what I thought would be a good deal for us. Now most of our stores and businesses belong to a bunch of crooks. That's messed up. The only thing left is the senbei shop. My father and grandfather would be so ashamed of me. And with the loan I was still paying, staying in charge of the business would have only made things worse. Although I hated the thought, I'd considered closing Ichiban Confections for good. But that's when Nonomiya-san showed up and offered a helping hand. Hmm. He used to be a regular of the Senbei shop. And not only that, but he treated me like a daughter ever since I was a baby. When he heard about how the business was in trouble, he immediately stepped in to help. He paid off my loan in full, and even offered to help run the business, so that my grandpa Senbei could live on. Oh, crazy. There's Nonomiya being a cool guy on the down low again. He deserved more respect than he got. Uh, what? One way or another, Ijincho has become a place for people who have nowhere else to go. So if the floor falls out from beneath a city like this, what would they have left? So, he always talked about how he wanted to create a safety net. One big enough to catch these people from falling away. Apparently, he had the same intentions for Orohime Land as well. Well, maybe he wasn't so bad after all. Yes, well, he also pushed his employees too hard, and he had his fingers in a lot of shady stuff, so... I could never tell if he was being honest or not. Looking back, though, his place was the only one that took us in when we had nowhere else to go. Nonomiya-san was telling the truth, if you ask me. I think so, too. I always believed in him. After all, he volunteered to take on his struggling senbei shop. I mean, there's plenty of other ways to make money in this town. Hmm. Anyway, I should get going. I'm so sorry to trouble all of you. Wait, what about your business? I think Nonomiya-san dying is maybe the final nail. What? There's only so much someone like me can do in this position. If I can't find someone more competent to run things, I'll have no choice but to close up shop. Besides, this business will fizzle out sooner or later if I'm left in charge. I should take the hint. I had no place here anyway. Hey now, is that what you really want? This place is important to you, isn't it? You'd really call it quits after everything your dad and Gramps did for it? Well, that's not what I want at all. I loved my dad and my grandpa. And I know they poured their hearts into the shop. So it's heartbreaking to close the doors. It really is. But Nonomiya-san's gone. And most of my employees left. They knew we were in the red. 
I don't have anyone else I can count on. No strategy. I'm completely alone. I suppose I'm just reaping what I've sown. It was my own fault for trusting those con artists. <laughs> what was I thinking? I'm so mad at myself. <laughs> Mary Chan. All right, I got you. Huh? Oh no. You don't have to worry about a thing. Just leave all this company stuff to me and the gang. Really? But I... Are you sure? Yeah, you can count on it. Meeting here like this is too much of a coincidence. And the shop's even called Ichiban Confections. That's gotta be fate. Right, guys? What are you talking about? You don't know the first thing about running a business. Come on, we can't just leave it like this, can we? You just leave her hanging? Plus, what about Nonomiya-san's dream to become the city's safety net? This can be our way to carry on his torch. But don't get me wrong, I'm, I'm all for it too, but this is actual management we're talking about. I know, but we owe Nonomiya-san our lives, right? He was the guy who took us in when no one else would. I want to help. He gave up everything to save us. And nobody's gonna pick his dreams up off the floor unless we do. Let's just think of this as paying him back. Ah, <sighs> Ichan. <laughs> paying him back, huh? <laughs> Figures you'd say that. Well, we all know there's no change in his mind now. So give it all you got, Ichiban. We'll be rooting for you. Thanks. Uh, wait, you're gonna help too, aren't you? Good luck, Ichiban. If anyone can pick up a failing business and use it to save the city, it's you. I believe in you, Ichan. Y yeah, but w what about you guys? Kasuga-san, you... Are you really sure about this? Huh? Well, well, yeah. I don't go back on my word. I'll be your president, prime minister, whatever you need. Thank you. I mean that from the bottom of my heart, Kasuga-san. Don't mention it. Looking forward to doing this, Sari chan Likewise. Okay, then. If it's all right with you, why don't I show you around the company? Sure. You got this, Mr. President. Hail to the chief. President Kasuga! Come on, guys. Well, this is it. This is the first floor, which is our little senbei shop. Oh, have you always been here? The shop has, but the company itself was headquartered in a much bigger building with a lot more employees before it was taken over. But in the end, the business took a turn for the worse and we ended up back here. The office is on the second floor. Please, follow me. Right behind you. So this is the office. You'll have to excuse the mess we've got going right now. Hey, Eri-chan. Welcome back. Is this the guy you were texting me about? Yes. Kasuga-san will be helping with the company in the place of Nonomiya-san. Kasuga-san, this is my grandmother. She's the only family I have left. She helps out with the shop downstairs on days when she feels well enough. I'm Tomei Kamataki. Nice to meet you. Tomei-san, huh? I'm Ichiban Kasuga. Nice to meet you, too. Mmm, older gentleman. Unique hairdo. Thick build, toned muscles. Quite a boyfriend you've got yourself, Eri-chan. Grandma! He's not my boyfriend! Were you even listening? <laughs> uh, honestly, sorry about that, Kasuga-san. <laughs> it's cool.
Whoa! Why is there a chicken here? That's Omelette, our company pet. Well, I guess she's more like the company mascot. She's a good girl, though. You won't have to worry about anything. In fact, the company uses her eggs. Uh, oh, right on. Nice to meet you, Omelette. <laughs> okay, perhaps this would be a good time to go over the basics of management. This is going to be quite a tutorial, so just let me know when you have the time. Sure thing.